precious souls. Welcome to a twin flame journey. I'm Aura and this is a podcast on twin flames. For more videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Reaching for Union has released an episode on how soul missions are revealed. So if you are curious or would like some reassurance regarding this topic and how it coincides with the Twin Flame journey, feel free to check that out in the description box below. Also, A Twin Flame Journey is now available on Kindle Vela, as well as an audio version in the description box below with links provided. Episode 5 in unexpected meeting is still being worked on and will be available in the upcoming weeks. Follow along as Aura tells the story of a twin flame journey. You suddenly feel more different within. The repeating numbers appear to you along with the synchronization, but it doesn't really do it for you like it has in the past. It's like suddenly everything has shifted and you find yourself not really obsessing over the connection anymore. Like you just don't care about reuniting because deeply it's like you already have. Something has changed within you. Connections aren't the same. New connections come and support you in a much more positive way. And your twin flame, you don't really think about them obsessively or wonder about who, what, when, where, why. You sort of find yourself in a place of peace. Like nothing else really matters in life. You feel bliss about the future ahead. You feel more relaxed even through the turbulence. You're a magnet for what you desire. Your manifestation magic is unstoppable. And you know this intuitively. We don't attempt to understand why we are on this journey anymore. We just continue to grow from our experiences of being on it. You let go of attachment to anything and everything because you realize it's already yours. It already belongs to you. So when your twin flame returns, you're not feeling obsessive about them or angry at them. You just sort of let go of previous experiences with them. You let go of any or all attachment of reuniting. You are so focused on your soul growth instead of reuniting. A reunion occurs effortlessly, so when it happens, you find yourself thinking, why did I obsess about this so much? Well, it's part of your journey. It's part of how you come to know yourself in this lifetime, even before you reunite with your twin flame. So as you approach a twin flame reunion, you think about them, but in a much different way. You realize that you're okay with or without them. So when it does happen, understand that you are so blessed. You are so incredibly blessed and the divine has been orchestrating this reunion from the very beginning. So as you work more with the divine, a reunion is inevitable. It is the result of surrendering not just to the divine but to your journey. Be grateful for where you are, not where you are going. Experience everything and feel every emotion. If you want to cry, then cry. If you want to be mad, then be mad. And if you want to be free, 
Well, you are free. A twin flame matrix once said, don't sweat the small stuff. <laughs> Just experience each moment with gratitude because everything falls into its place. Everything. So, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Until next time, I'm Aura, and this is A Twin Flame Journey.